So which antibiotic do we start her on? Shouldn't we start as early as possible? Hey Akshay. Hi Ajay. Hi sir. Hi sir. And you are saying something? Yes sir, we were discussing about this young girl who has just travelled back from the US. Now she's come with a history of fever since two weeks. She also has a very splitting headache and also complains of myalgia and palpitations. Okay, so you would have performed the physical examination. On inspection, did you find something abnormal on her skin? Oh yes sir, I saw a bullseye kind of a rash on her forearm. Okay, good point. Was the rash warm? Yes, it was warm but it was not tender. Excellent. Was it itchy to you? No, it was not itchy as per history. Okay, nice. Sir, we are planning to do a CSF tap for her, but do you suggest any other investigations? I understand based on the CNS manifestations, you are going for the CSF tapping. Apart from that, can you actually try going for ELISA, IgM and IgG and if possible Western Bot for Borrelia? Sir, you are suspecting Lyme's disease, but I specifically asked her for history of insect bites and she totally denied it, sir. Of course, you said the patient went to USA and came back, right? When they go to USA, there is a very good chance they could have gone for adventure sports or they could have gone into the forest. Most of the people who come with Lyme's disease in the early stages will not even realize that they were bitten by a vector or an insect. So what are the complications we can expect, sir? You can expect neuroborreliosis. The patient might be suffering from neuroborreliosis. When it becomes severe, it can be lymphocytic meningoradiculitis, which is referred to as Banwart syndrome. And for your question, you can actually start the patient on doxycycline for your safety. Yes, sir. Say it straight away.